Tonight at 11 o'clock on Pittsburgh's Action News for SpaceX blasting into orbit. But this time, no one astronaut will be on board. The big step in space tourism coming up tonight at 11. Well, today is the start of Hispanic Heritage Month, and tonight KOCO is diving into Latino culture in our state, including the history of mariachi. Love that music. It's so beautiful. Well, tonight we're going to recognize the cultural significance and history of mariachi. That is when you join us at 6 o'clock right here on KOCO 5. So thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. We're going to get you over to World News tonight out of New York. But see you back here in a half hour. Lots more still to come. Thanks for joining us at 5. KMB 9's Chris Katz has a look at what we're working on for 6. Haley, we continue following breaking news that Independence police officers shot and critically wounded. Next at 6, live team coverage with the latest from detectives on what happened when two police officers went to a house late this morning. ABC's World News Tonight with David Muir is next. We'll see you at 6. The LPGA returns to the natural state this year and professional golfers arrive here pretty soon in the Northwest Arkansas Championship. There's a lot of things to do uh, next week, but the tournament itself is September 24th, the 25th and the 26th. Uh, weekly tickets are $15 in celebration of the 15th anniversary of that event. Daily tickets are $10. All right, want to take a look at tonight's show lineup. There's a solid list here for you. Modern Family is at 630 and then press your luck at seven o'clock, followed by the $100,000 pyramid at eight. At nine, it's Robin Roberts. She has an in-depth interview with an activist, Amanda Gorman. And then we hope you'll join us right back here for 4029 News at 10 o'clock. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We will see you at six. For now, here's David Muir and World News Tonight. Welcome back. Looking live at rush hour traffic on the West Side Expressway from our camera at the TD Ameritrade building. Sean, you know, Bill's not here. You have the power I to go do. to the top 10 day. You know, <laughs> that's true. Doesn't all he? All the power, all the power. Though, it, come on. We, we have our, our strict on. guidelines. I, on these days, we'd call it like a 9.9. .9. We can't officially get it because it's only, you know, for 10 days of the year. It's close. It's close. Just do it. A 9.9 .9 day. A 9.9. Right. .9. Or, or, you know, in some technicality where, you know, it's it was foggy in parts this morning or it gets a little too cool in the morning, but the afternoon is at 10. The whole day, though, it'll mm -hmm. average out to a 9.9. .9. So we'll go with that <laughs> today. Tomorrow, it's going to be even windier. It's going to be hotter. And then we've got some storm chances returning for Friday, but we're still issuing, or at least I am issuing, the <laughs> patio weather alert this evening. There you so go. So get outside and enjoy. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Sean. That is our report tonight at 5. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we're back in 30 minutes with more local news, and we'll continue the debate on if this is a top 10 day or not. Up next is World News Tonight. Hello, I'm Adrian Patterson. Join us tomorrow on 12 News This Morning. We'll tell you about the new hospital opening in West Dallas and how it will help with the growing demand for mental health services. Plus, we're getting you ready for the final weekend of Summerfest and the big names that will be performing. And wake up knowing what to wear with your forecast, Lens. You know, I'm talking 80s are making a big comeback for that last weekend of Summerfest. I'll tell you how toasty we get. That's coming up on the news starting at 4.30. Shorts for later, little jacket for tonight. Sounds like a good idea. Temperature's going to drop pretty quickly. We'll be falling back down into the 60s. It's just really, though, pretty darn nice. It's nice to see that sun at 7 o'clock. The sun will set at 7.01. You just you only had to say it once. You just had to say it once. That's it. I just was enjoying the sun at 7. We'll see you back here for 12 years at 6.
Rain showers will be departing later tonight. Tomorrow we'll have some fog in the morning for some of us, especially those who saw some rain earlier today. High temperatures tomorrow in the upper 70s. It's going to get quite nice on Thursday. It'll clear out partly cloudy to mostly sunny. We're back into the 80s with partly cloudy skies on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Looks great for the Steelers game. A high temperature of 83 degrees, partly cloudy to mostly sunny. It looks perfect for the weekend. Thanks, yeah. Mike. Thank you for joining us here at 6 o'clock. Our next newscast is over on Cozy TV at 6 7 o'clock. And now you can stay tuned for ABC's World News with David Muir. Thanks for joining us. This has been a presentation of Pittsburgh's Action News 4.